craziest idea supposedly I launched in a converted pub in Bolton, Lancashire, was the idea of giving a ship for world evangelism. Uh, this had never been done. Some ships that hadn't worked out very well had been used for transport, but my vision was an evangelistic and ministry base. And so when the Lord gave us that ship, uh, October 1971, I'd been living in Nepal at that time. Uh, that was one of the highlights of my life, especially sailing into India, where I no longer could get a visa. Sailing into India on the ship, being able to visit the ports of India, meeting up with all my old friends, and of course preaching the, the gospel in India, which became our biggest deal. So let me get my head around this. You're sitting with some friends in Bolton, in the north of England, and you say, I want to get a ship. How are you going to get people to sail it? How are you going to make it work? And I, I believe it took a few years. Did you really think you could pull it off? And how did your faith stand at that time? I think I had greater faith in those days than now. As an old uh, guy with all my uh, sometimes skepticism and cynicism that tries to come into my life. But God had his hand on me and he enabled me to be very focused, perhaps more than I'm able to do today. And initially, we just talked about this, but one man, a Birmingham man, mm -hmm. Alan Redpath, many people would know him. He's been with Jesus a long time, one of the few older people that actually joined the land. He had been a communist and in the merchant navy. And so when I just threw this idea out, it wasn't in a super dogmatic way. We were talking. He grabbed it more than me and then encouraged me but I immediately started to visit ships and do a lot of research. And the thing that helped move me is that old ships, nobody wanted them. They were selling at a very low price. And our first ship, we only paid 70,000 pounds. 120 people lived on a ship, including all my family. And we paid only 70,000 pounds to buy it. So it, it, it fit into where OM was at that time. We had hundreds of vehicles, by the way, crisscrossing the whole world by that time. George, take me to that day, the first uh, day you sailed out the maiden voyage do you remember how you felt and how did you did you praise God together as a ship what was the feelings you had towards your prayers being answered yeah it was a great time of celebration we sailed out of London we had been refurbishing this old ship that we purchased in Denmark in Rotterdam my wife and I and family of uh, three children we were already living on the ship we already had lots of problems the chief engineer and the captain were not getting on uh, we were running out of money, so but now we're in London, and it was a great time of Thanksgiving, but OM has always been a movement willing to very much face reality, that we had uh, taken a big step of faith, but now we would have to work hard and pray hard to, to make it happen, to sail all the way around Africa. 